told that every Metropolitan Police counter-terrorism firearms officer has stepped back from armed duties. Wow. Apart from five officers on annual leave, this is a worsening crisis around armed policing. Almost armed responses vehicles in the capital have also opted for a period of reflection. They've handed in their firearms authorisation tickets. Senior Met Police commanders are in crisis discussions to try to ensure the capital has an adequate response. Liam, this is a dramatic escalation. It is, and it's, I think it reinforces the point that we were making, um, that there is a point of principle here that needs to be sorted and sorted very quickly. I think that the instincts of the Home Secretary are entirely correct, mm. uh, and I hope that she is given uh, the hand to get this sorted as quickly as possible. I think on both sides there's a will to get it sorted, mm. um, uh, but I think that this clearly now this position uh, increases the urgency. This, is, this yeah. is a strike that uh, could put... Our safety at risk. Well, it, it, and, and we're being told that two, there were two armed response vehicles patrolling London last night instead of 15, and it'll be the same tonight. It, people, look, all sorts of thugs with guns are listening to this, watching this. Mm. It's they're pushing an open door for them. It's just why, as I say, uh, there is now a real urgency um, to get this resolved. Mm. And, and, and perhaps uh, understanding the, the, uh, the importance of what is now clearly going to be a crisis situation, will get all parties to be uh, involved in getting that solution as quickly as possible. Um, officers from outside of London are apparently refusing to come yeah. in to help out. Um, is the capital now a, a serious security risk? Well, I, I wouldn't say that. As we said, that there are elements uh, of the military that can be brought in to do that. And I think it would also um, be a good uh, rule for all of us not to talk up uh, the risks or to talk up the fear, which can only help the criminal classes, yeah. not the law-abiding public. Okay. Yeah, it's probably worth just reiterating what the news yeah. is. We've yeah. been told that every Met Police counter-terrorism firearms officer has stepped back now from armed duties, apart from five officers who are on annual leave. Yeah, that's about 3,000. That is an extraordinary thing. Have you ever known that in your long career in politics? No, I've never, I've never known um, that to happen. Um, and I think it is of enormous importance and seriousness. And I think that, uh, you know, I can never remember a case where I thought uh, people better be round that table by lunchtime today yeah. and getting it sorted out. So, I mean, the Prime Minister needs to put... Well, the Prime Minister has said, you know, yeah. very much he supports the Home Secretary, which is a great thing because clearly that, in, that uh, reinforces her authority uh, in this. Uh, to be able to get the, the sort of solution that, that is necessary, not just desirable. Will it, will it, will it involve the, um, what's the, the emergency committee that they have? COBRA. COBRA, do you think they have to... No, there's a separate mechanism. Is there? Or, yeah. Presumably the Home Secretary will have to now talk to the public and tell us what this all means. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, yeah, deeply concerning deeply breaking concerning. news there. And that's all, this is all linked to, we can't go into the detail, but a police officer has been arrested in connection with the shooting of a man in a police in a in an unmarked car yeah this is a move yeah. in, in solidarity yeah. uh, with that police officer so we're joined now by labor mp for birmingham selly oak steve mccabe steve thank you very much indeed for joining us is steve there yes 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 there he is. is fantastic good morning just to get your reaction to that breaking news really um all firearms officers have put down their guns off duty well, it sounds a pretty serious uh, issue. I'm not sure exactly what the the implications of it are, but as you see, it, it's obviously um, in response to this officer who's been charged. And I guess there must be some question marks when police officers make split second decisions. No. If uh, I, I'm not saying they should be um, given uh, total immunity, but there must be some question marks if they find themselves in court on serious charges uh, when we're asking them to make split-second decisions in those kind of situations. Steve, do they need, do they need uh, more rights, if you like, than an, than an ordinary citizen who may have a gun? Well, I, I am suggesting that we are asking them, just as we do with soldiers, um, to to do something quite serious on our behalf. And it's possibly not the right that we equate that with, say, any civilian picking up a, a firearm and using it. Yes, they need, to feel, they need to feel supported and that they're going to get a fair hearing. That's clearly what this is all about.